Now let's hop into the four C's of diamonds. What are they? They're going to be carrot, cut, clarity, and color. These are the four main value factors that are going to affect the price of a diamond. Let's start with carrot. The carrot of a diamond is one that everyone is probably most familiar with, but what is it? Carrot is weight. Just for your reference, one carrot is about the weight of a paper clip. Know that carrot doesn't always depict size. I mean, yes, the bigger you go in carrot, technically the bigger you go in diamond, but it's also going to depend on how that diamond is cut. For instance, if you have a very deep cut diamond, that surface area is gonna look kind of small. If you have a shallow cut diamond, it's going to be very spready and that diamond is going to look much bigger for its actual carrot weight. And finally, let's jump into cut. Cut is oftentimes confused with the shape, and it makes sense. We have the round brilliant cut, the princess cut, the oval cut. If you're confused or want to learn more about diamond shapes, go ahead and check out my other video of specifically about diamond shapes in general. When we talk about diamond cut, I really want you to think about how the diamond was faceted and proportioned to maximize light. If you think of your diamond like a ton of little mirrors, if all of the mirrors are facing each other perfectly and super high polished, the most amount of light is going to bounce back and forth. If one of the angles or one of the facets is not polished all the way, what's gonna happen is that light is going to bounce off this one, hit the other one, and leave your diamond in an undesirable place. What happens and what we see to the naked eye is kind of a dead spot, an area where that diamond does not sparkle. The more sparkle, the likely, the better the cut. Now let's talk about clarity. Clarity is a fancy term for internal and external characteristics. The clarity of a diamond is going to range from flawless, which is very rare and very expensive, all the way down to included. Anything past included we use for industrial diamonds, saws, lasers, etc. There are categories in between flawless and included. They are SI1, VS1, VVS1, internally flawless, and flawless. All of these categories basically describe how easy it is for someone with a trained eye who knows what they're looking for at 10 times magnification. How easy is it for them to notice internal and external characteristics? Something about clarity that I really wanna point out to you guys. Remember that it has to be seen at 10 times magnification. Now, of course, the lower you go down on that scale, I would say past that SI2 range, sometimes in that SI1 range, you can see certain characteristics to the naked eye. Sometimes, you have to have someone point it out to you, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. And of course, as you get closer to that flawless range, it's going to be hard to see those characteristics. Keep in mind that just because something exists at 10 power magnification doesn't mean that you'll be able to see it to the naked eye. My sweet spot for naked eye free diamonds is that VS1 to SI1 range. Color. Fun fact, diamonds come in all colors of the rainbow, but when we talk about engagement rings, we wanna talk about the white diamond scale. When you get into the colored diamond range, yellows, reds, oranges, blues, those all become very, very rare. As a gemologist and diamond enthusiast, when you're looking for your engagement ring, here's what I suggest. Clarity, you can kind of let slide. Reason being, most of the clarity definitions require a trained eye and to see the inclusion at 10 times magnification. Most of the time, you won't see those things to the naked eye. The most important factor to me when I'm looking for diamonds is cut. If you have a good cut diamond, an excellent cut diamond, what that means is it's going to be very, very sparkly. When we have a very sparkly diamond, it get, helps us mask that color. It might be a lower color and it helps us mask some of that clarity. So if there's an inclusion, that sparkle can help hide it. So cut is my most important, clarity is my least important.